welcome to today's presentation my dear students uh, this is your uh, helal sir mohammad helaluddin assistant professor english government haji mohammad mohsin college presenting before you the today's class and today's class topic is right form of verbs after the class you will be able to know some rules of right form of verbs and to answer the questions regarding right form of verbs so to begin with uh, our first rule uh, is like this words or phrases such as late had waiter and would rather are followed by the base form of verb that means present form of verb uh, for examples number one parents should not let their children to indulge in idle pastimes as we have here a uh, let so the following verb indulge will be in the base form that is that is uh, there will be no there will be no to so uh, it will be a bare infinitive form uh, indulge so parents should not let their children indulge in idle pastimes so our answer right form of verb is indulge second example you had better to wear within bracket a mask to prevent infection as per the rules after had better we use the base form so the answer will, will be wear so we you had better wear a mask to prevent in infection our third example we will use uh, would rather i would rather back within bracket to follow the right path i would rather follow the right path here follow the verb within the bracket will be in the base form of verb so second rule uh, with phrases like look forward to with a view to never mind etc uh, we use verb plus ing so the pattern uh, is verb plus ing so if we look at the examples i look forward to within bracket here from you as uh, there is the presence of look forward to so the verb in the bracket will take an ing form that is uh, here will be hearing so our answer will be i look forward to hearing from you our second example a teacher teaches his students with a view to within bracket give the light of education again we find here with a view to so as we find with a view to so we have to add ing with the verb give so the answer will be giving so we will write the sentence in the following way a teacher teaches his students with a view to giving the light of education and the third one parents never mind within bracket take pains for the bringing of their children as we have never mind so the answer will be verb plus ing so uh, parents never mind after never mind take will be taking so parents never mind taking pains for the upbringing of their children 
अपब्रिंगिंग ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन और थर्ड रूल एक्सप्रेशन सच इज इट इज टाइम इट इज हाई टाइम आई फैंसी आर फॉलोड बाय पस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब सो आवर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ कपल ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स हेयर इट इज हाई टाइम विच विद इन ब्रैकेट चेक एयर पोल्यूशन एज वी हैव द एक्सप्रेशन इट इज हाई टाइम सो द वर्ब चेक विल बी इन द पस्ट इंडिफिनिट फॉर्म चेकड सो इट इज हाई टाइम वी चेकड एयर पोल्यूशन सेकेंड वन आई फैंसी आई विद इन ब्रैकेट अ ट्राइफल पेल हेयर द एक्सप्रेशन आई फैंसी विल मेक द वर्ब टर्न इन टू इट्स पस्ट फॉर्म द पस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ टर्न इज टर्न सो द आंसर विल बी द राइट फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब विल बी आई फैंसी आई टर्न अ ट्राइफल पेल next rule use of since since uh, it can be used as a connector as a conjunction as we find in uh, rule in uh, serial 1 and 2 and it can be used as a preposition as we find in uh, number 3 simple pres number 1 simple present or present perfect tense plus since plus simple past tense so when uh, there is pre simple present tense uh, in the when there is simple present tense in the uh, principal clause then the connector since uh, will be followed by past form of verb for example it has been many years since i within bracket see you the word see will be in the past form saw so the answer will be it has been many years since i saw you and uh, if as per second uh, serial simple past tense plus since plus uh, past perfect tense so when uh, when the principal clause uh, is in the simple past tense then the connector since will make it uh, past perfect tense so Uh, it was long since i see see you since i see you as since had it was long the past tense form then after since it will be past perfect tense so our answer will be it was long since i had seen you the third in the third example in the third example since has been used as a preposition it has uh, it has just placed before a point of time i within bracket study in this college since 2015 uh, in this case as per serial number 3 the uh, since will be since uh, oh, in this case we will Mm. we will find present perfect continuous tense i have been studying in this college since uh, 2015 the reason is the point of uh, time in uh, with along with since this is the reason rule 5 use of as if or as though uh, if uh, if in the first portion we use present indefinite tense uh, then as if and as though will be followed by past indefinite tense 
if we use past indefinite tense bef before as if or as though then it will be followed by past perfect tense examples uh, the speaker speaks as though he know everything within bracket no so as uh, the example has present indefinite tense before as though so the uh, according to the rule uh, it will take past indefinite form after as though so no will be new he knew everything the speaker spoke as though he know everything as the second example has past indefinite tense before as though so it will take past perfect tense after as though so the correct answer in the second example will be the speaker spoke as though he had known everything uh, one thing we have to note that to be within bracket to be after as if or as though or uh, to be after i wish uh, expression such as i wish becomes uh, we are in the answer example for you first example we can't take a book as if it within bracket medicine as there is b in the bracket so uh, the answer uh, will be where so we can't take a book as if it were medicine the second example i wish i within bracket be a poet i wish i were a poet rule six the use of list should plus base form or present form of verb list the word list is followed by the use of subject then should model auxiliary verb and then base form of verb examples Bayajit did not make any sound laced his mother within bracket wake up by it so as we have list the answer will be in the following form by it did not make any sound laced his mother then we must use a should then base form of verb wake up in the second example i walked fast lest i within bracket be late so so as the verb be in the bracket is followed by list so the correct answer should be so i walked first lest i should be late so the the verb be b was just preceded by should i should be let our rule seven it's a case of present perfect tense uh, there are some adverbs such as just recently already lately yet ever never etc in the in the case in the presence of uh, these adverbs we usually use present perfect tense examples they just within bracket finish their task as this sentence has just uh, we will use present perfect tense they have just finished their task and the second example the patient already leave the hospital the patient has already left the hospital our rule eight it has three three expressions no sooner had dot dot 
THA and then scarcely had uh, dot dot when hardly had dot dot when in the above cases the first verb the first verb will be in the past participle form and the second verb will be in the past indefinite form so uh, examples are in the following number one no sooner had he within bracket reach the station then the train within bracket leave no sooner had he as per rule the answer will be reached the station then the train uh, the verb leave will be left no sooner had he reached the station than the train left second example scarcely had she within bracket open the door when the wind within bracket blow away her hair scarcely had she opened the door when the wind blew away her here so open will be in the past participle form opened and blue will be in the past indefinite form blue in the third example hardly had he within bracket leave the place when the fire within bracket break out answer hardly had he left the place when the fire broke out this rule number nine is a very vital rule it's a very important rule the nature of the subject determines the active or passive form of verbs in the sentence abraham lincoln within bracket murder by an assassin here abraham lincoln is not the doer and the verb is followed by a preposition by which is usually indicates a passive voice so the answer will as abraham lincoln uh, was uh, it's as it it was a uh, case in the past so we will use uh, was uh, an auxiliary verb was and the past participle of the main verb murder so uh, the answer will be was murdered uh, abraham lincoln was murdered by an assassin our second uh, example the hunter shoot the deer the hunter here is in the doer is the doer so as the hunter is the doer so the verb in the bracket will take the active form so uh, the answer will be the hunter shot the deer my dear students uh, let us recap what we have what we have just uh, learned first rule our first rule uh, is that late had better and would rather are followed by the base form of verb second rule look forward to with a view to never mind these expressions are followed by bob plus ing form the third rule expressions such as it is time it is high time and i fancy are followed by past form of verb and since the use of since depends upon the situation uh, if since is uh, used as a preposition uh, it is 
it is really indicates a present perfect continuous tense if uh, since is a connector then uh, uh, it is uh, si it takes simple past tense if it it is if if it is preceded by simple present tense or present perfect tense and since stay after since we use past perfect tense if since is preceded by simple past tense or past indefinite tense so our rule five as if and as though in the case of as if and as though we use uh, past indefinite form if as if and as though is preceded by present indefinite tense and we use past perfect tense after as if or as though if as if or as though is preceded by past indefinite tense after list we use should plus base form of verb and in the case of the adverbs like just recently already lately yet ever never etc we use present we use present perfect tense and in the cases of no sooner had dot dot then scarcely had dot dot when and hardly had dot dot when we use in the the first verb uh, will be in the past participle form and the second verb will be in the past form as per the as as it is illustrated in the example and our last rule for today is rule number nine uh, where we have uh, shown that uh, the nature of subject determines or shapes the active or passive form of verbs in the sentence so uh, my dear students uh, that's all for today stay home Stay safe. Allah Hafiz.